Hello, I'm making this video because I came across this loading animation and I obviously checked the code and I thought, hey, I can improve this by a lot. So let me show you how this was made, first of all. So here we have a bunch of columns and each is created with a container element which contains two circle elements. As for the CSS, there's quite a lot going on, but let's just focus on the animations. There are two animations. For each, we have quite a lot of keyframes, a lot of uh, properties, some of which aren't too performant, so stuff like top or uh, offsets in general. So what I'll be doing is reduce the number of elements, um, reduce the overall CSS, use a single animation with a single keyframe and a single CSS property within that keyframe. So yeah, but um, start coding and stop talking. So um, here I have the total number of items and here I generate the HTML within a loop. So for i starting from 0, going all the way up to n, increment this i, um, and I have a scene element. And within a style attribute, I set a custom property k, which is basically like a sort of progress kind of thing. Progress? Is that? I, 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 but, but. It, it's not index, it's yeah, it's more like progress, I guess, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, you'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, so um, ring element within, and this is it for the HTML. Now, um, for the body, let's um, make this a bit easier on the eyes. Yes, beautiful. So now for the ring, we have two pseudo elements before and an after uh, and first off let's just set the content um, okay now we're starting to see something let's set displex and uh, displex yeah displex <laughs> you got it um, align items center uh, justify content center um, yeah justify content center okay and now here I'll be setting a display grid, not dog or grid. It wasn't dog, I think it was block, because there's no display dog. Okay, um, grid gap, uh, five M's. Okay, so um, this does something. Now, uh, here's something else I want to do. Margin zero, and let's set uh, the height, make it full height. Okay, now that's cute. Now let's um, distinguish these two. So make the after a bit different. Um, filter, hue, rotate, half a turn. So um, this should do it. Okay, uh, now that I've done this, let's move on to the animation. So um, keyframes, uh, rotation 0% and here we have transform rotate x uh, one turn okay so um, now let's set an animation duration something like two seconds okay now animation that rotation linear infinite um, I hope I haven't disconnected myself. No, I haven't because it works. Um, CodePen doesn't work offline, so that's why I'm worried about disconnecting myself. Especially since I'm doing this while stretching and um, uh, my foot is dangerously close to the cable. Um, inherit animation direction reverse. So, um, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, one more thing that's missing here, transform style preserve 3D, and let's get the nice uh, sizing effect. Um, so for our scene, we have perspective, let's say something like 7Ms, okay, and this should look nicer right now, and finally, let's add in a delay, so this is going to be that progress, k okay, times um, minus t, uh, let's see, except it's not going to be minus t, um, 
so that's going to be half a tea. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is it. This is uh, the result. And in case you're wondering why I used uh, stars, it's because it's um, Star Challenge Week on CodePen, and I thought I'd do something for that as well. So um, yeah, this is it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, if you've enjoyed this video and other stuff I've put out so far, you can support my work by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, which is linked in the description. So um, yeah, in any event, Thanks for watching.